Well, I got the backhoe in the shop today and we got a little weld failure. Um, <laughs> this thing has been broke. I don't know if you can see the shiny part. This is what was holding for the last, I don't know, little while. Um, that's been broke for a long time, looks like. So anyway, the old outrigger actually that turn over here. That's where it uh, broke out, but <clears throat> must have been a pretty good weld to last as long as it has. I mean, these things get hammered, um, especially when you you're sitting on. Like one of your pads will be sitting on a board or a rock or something like that. So, well, bushings are getting pretty loose in it. Um, I priced a set of these, I think they're around $600 without the rubber pads on them. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure I'll be buying new ones for this backhoe. But I uh, got to fix it, get it back together where it can. Uh, Hang in there a little bit longer anyway. So I'll set it down here on the ground. I think I'm gonna pull it off the tractor to change it out. I think it'd be an easier way to do it. clean it up a little bit um, I'm gonna use a 6011 or 7018 I'll use a 60 6011 to dig in penetrate preheat and then cover it up with some 7018 and put a good strong weld on there but it's gonna take a little time to get everything straight because um, these old they got rubber on the bottom so they don't sit real level um, I may have to clamp up something here to keep everything square when I'm welding them together. I could just dig it together, but I kind of think I ought to try to keep it straight, um, straight as I can anyway. Anyway, um, I'll get with it here.
into a bit of a snag here. I didn't realize if I square these up by putting a piece of plate across the flat side of them and I come over here to this side, then this, this is bent um, a good inch higher. So it's going to take a little bit more time, a little bit more effort <laughs> as usual. Um, if it was easy, everybody would do it though, right? So I'm going to need to do some heating, bending, and hopefully then I can weld it.
this here. So this is uh, what I ended up with. I tried to go beyond where the old weld went on both sides. Didn't turn out too bad, a little bit bumpy. Uh, I got a little out of line on my stringer up here, but I'm gonna go ahead and run about, I don't know, five or six on this side here too. it out and flip it over and weld the other side. in here just to keep everything from warping and moving when I started welding on it so I'll take it apart here and put it back on the back of it 